Right, moving on. Last time we were here at the Wonderful stage. And a nice distance away from that takes us to the top right. Gay Wizard. And this is probably one of my, uh, probably my, one of my uh, favourite ones from this area, actually. That's, that is not a pillar. <laughs> okay! <laughs> uh, although, just checking this out again, the slowdown is is uh, fairly ridiculous uh, in places, so, um, well, hopefully I'm not going to have to contend with that uh, too much, but uh, yeah, this is one, this one I, this one I find is, is just actually, uh, I find really, really fun. Just going to pause there and think where the hell I need to go. It must be over the right-hand side, surely. But so uh, yeah, I, I think yeah, this one is just really is just really fun. I don't think anything here gets uh, really um, uh, really too difficult either, which is which is really nice. Um, and I like and I like the idea of it as well. So basically, we have a we have that's not a pillar, <laughs> although this is solid ground now. Basically, we have a, um, a fire and ice uh, type um, effect going on. So basically, we have to get through get through the uh, an area of the screen where you know, where one of the things is in is in effect. Uh, first off, it was fire. But so uh, yeah, we we may have made our way all over to the left hand side, top of the screen, and back down to the uh, middle right to collect some um, uh, snowflake um, icon, uh, which sets the ice uh, ice gimmick uh, in motion. Or into effect. So uh, yeah, now we've now we're working with, uh, for example, you know, the lava now not being a thing. It's actually being. Um, is that a seat? That is a state of ceiling. Okay, just want to make sure that wasn't going to die through. Um, yeah, getting getting, a, getting an off border of or an, or an off screen border kill or anything like that. Um, but so uh, yeah, I, I really like the contrast here between the um, yeah the fire and the ice. Good. I'm happy to go up here. Yes, we do, and we get the save. Yay. So yeah, we're going to see actually kind of a lot of screens kind of um, are kind of going to be on, you know, are going to be around for quite a while, and that's got mainly because we're going to just have to kind of clear them two different ways. And typically, it's going to be yeah, once once with an ice uh, effect in play, and once with a fire effect in play. But uh, yeah, the contrast is actually between the two is actually really nice. The um, I probably find the ice ones just generally a little bit more kind of I don't know relaxing. I don't know whether that's just the the change in the music or what, but um, I think I actually need to go down to the bottom here. Yeah, I don't want to go. Um, I don't want to go up top uh, yet, but uh, yeah, I, yeah. For some reason, for some reason, the ice sections. I don't know if it's because they. Are, I don't want to say they're easier or anything like that, but uh, I feel like actually, I feel like yeah, the, the fire ones. You actually feel not panicked, but I feel like you have to do things just a lot more uh, quickly, and it's not, not there's not enough kind of like time to just uh, pause and oh my god, slow down, really. Um, just pause and takes and, uh, and yeah, before you kind of move on. I feel like the ice, the ice one, just gives you a bit more time to relax. And again, not feeling under pressure is um, yeah, is uh, is preferable. <laughs> Obviously, it's nice to have some pressure. And, and as I say, it's not like you've got continual safe spots uh, when when the ice are in play. Often, often you have to time out the snowballs um, so that you so the snowballs are not. Um, I think we can, yeah, definitely, yeah, she's definitely going to save here, yeah, <laughs> so, uh, so that the snowballs uh, don't hit you, but um, I might, have I done that right? I think so. I mean, again, I could do without the um, the, the, the incredible lag there, that would be much appreciated. At this point in time, to be honest, I don't know whether the game is just sort of running at about 90% anyway, really. Um, I, I, yeah, I can only apologise if this Let's Play sort of becomes a bit of a, a bit of a thing, really, here at this point in time, and doesn't really become a true... Like proper, I don't say proper let's play, but it, it, it just feels like um, things are just going to be going to be easier than they otherwise would do, and I, I don't want that. I want to play the, the game as it you know as it is properly. I don't want a helping hand for just arbitrary lag or whatever. It's just terrible. Anyway, make it up to this door. That isn't the exit, by the way. So this uh, this area, this area does does go on. Whoops. Um, Okay, okay, I can save. Let's just save the first level we can. This area does actually go on for uh, quite a while. Uh, not many screens, but as I say, it feels like you're always trying to complete them. Really? Kind of trying to... Com what? Complete them twice. <laughs> uh, once with a fire, fire thing in effect and once with an ice in effect. But uh, yeah, it, do it still doesn't feel that long, uh, to be honest. Um, just make sure I'm doing doing the right things here. So I need to go. I need to push this block down here. Yeah, I need to, this is mucking around with the push block. So I need to get. I need to get. I think I need to get another. Do I need to get another one down there? I don't know. I don't think I actually can get another one down there. So I'm slightly confused actually. So what I'm supposed to do here, which is interesting. And I feel like I need to go over there, but it feels to me like I need to get another block 
um, somewhere, but I don't think I can really do that. And I actually don't know idea why I pushed that block to the left hand side initially and then push it over to the right hand side. I might as well just push it to the right hand side uh, immediately. Yeah, that fire tackle is um, kind of in the way. That was just awful. <laughs> okay, seriously? Can I? That's not going to help anyway, is it? Because the jump over there is, is still weight is still too far anyway. Just um, yeah, trying to come up with a way of helping out with that first jump, which act, which really isn't that bad at all, and shouldn't really need any specific help on. But uh, and now I'm messing up on this kind, this on this jump, which isn't good. Right? Can we get past? Yeah, the way the direction that thing's going, I have to do it that way. I'm actually adamant I have to do it that way. So we're pushing this block down here so we can actually get back up. But I'm slightly, yeah, I have, I have done it. I have done it wrong. Yeah, I have done it wrong. Uh, I'm glad I realised that right there, right then, rather than try and waste a whole, well, waste a whole bunch of time trying to reset something. I had this first jump, man. What the hell am I even doing? Yeah, I am doing this complete. I am doing this completely wrong. I need to do. I need to, okay, yeah, I need to do, need to get this block here first off. Then not push that block over to the over to the right yet, because what I need to do is push this block down here. So that now I have a way up. This is what's screwing me over. So yeah, now I need to push this block uh, over here, so it's actually on on that spike. So that next to when I push the, the the block over on the right hand side, it is yeah, it is two stories high, not the one. But I need to I need to not push that block over there first because I need obviously to, to to stack them one on top of the other. But then I need to not push this one down down initially because I need to push need to get up to here to push this block so I could get some height. That was probably incredibly clumsily worded or phrased, whatever. Um, yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, I thought I messed that up. But anyway, yeah, long and short of it, we need to get two blocks stacked here. And thankfully didn't mess up the gate jump at the end. Yay. Right. So, uh, next destination, if I can make this jump, bloody hell. <laughs> next destination is down to the bottom right where the uh, snowflake ice projectile is. Okay, what am I doing with this block? I'm pushing it over here so I can get make this jump. Cool. Right, careful timing here. Uh, hmm, maybe I need to, what, say need to? Maybe I should single jump that? Or single jump, oh no, yeah, that's bad. <laughs> and I, 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 I say I should have been able to save that, but uh, at the end of the day I just went into an area where <laughs> where the bloody thing was going to get me no matter what I did. That was absolutely awful. Yeah, let's just jump over here and reset that. And go way too early, or not wait, or not, clearly not way too early there because I still managed to survive, but too early for my liking there. Let's put it that way. So I thought I was going to land on the damn thing. Yeah, I think I need to single jump. I think I just need to fall through that without using a double jump initially because, yeah, and then, then double jump there. And good, didn't mess that up. Nice. So I think we need to just, I think this is the way to go. Yes, so just carefully there. You can save uh, before, uh, obviously before you have to uh, walk off there. But uh, yeah, as long, if, if you, if you edge, edge yourself off there, then you'll be fine. But uh, yes, I certainly recommend saving uh, before you get to that point anyway. Uh, surely it must be off the, oh no, I can't, what am I, what am I doing? I can't push the, I can't push the blocks on the, when the, when the ice is in effect. So uh, yeah, it's completely wrong. I need, to, I need to go back over to the left-hand side, and that means pulling off that uh, dip gate jump. It's not so bad that the, uh, the it's, it's pretty near the top, um, or pretty near the, the, the first, the, the, the initial fall there. So that one, that yeah, that that dip jump's really not so bad at all. That was just pathetic. Yeah, but, but if that if that gate, if the gate there was further down, and you've obviously got a lot more momentum, I mean, it's still not a gimme. You're still liable to still liable to mess up on it, but. Um, yeah, it's, it's not like it's it's really low down on that drop where you've gathered a lot of momentum. So, in theory, in theory at least, anyway, it's not terrible. Right, back to here. Let's just be a little bit more careful this time. I think our goal is to go up here. Yes, it is. Cool. I always like pulling this this mover off the sort of the um, when I can actually do it. I mean, I haven't failed it that much yet. So yeah, pulling off that jump around the snowball always 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 feels really nice. I'm actually worried, slightly worried about slow down here because if it, or lag because if it is, it's gonna yeah because I need to I need to yeah I can't just walk off um, that ledge there. I need to um, stop my movement very uh, slightly and then of course I have to uh, double jump 
when I'm in between the two spikes. Actually, it's, it, yeah, probably not still not that bad, but um, yeah, if it stops uh, lagging or slowing down there, that's going to be a hell of a thing to have to time to pull off. Okay, can we, yeah, let's double jump a little bit lower there so that I'm not having to fall quite so far. Okay, let's think about what we need to do here. First thing I'm going to do is push this block down there. And push the... Oh, <laughs> push the... Oh, what? No! Come on, why? I felt like I easily pushed or, or ran into the block there with enough force to actually move it. Why the hell? I suppose that's one thing to say now is, uh, yeah, there is a, a sort of, I don't want to say delay or whatever, but... It, sometimes it feels like you absolutely, you know, have to apply a lot of pressure, uh, side, sideways pressure to, to the block to actually move it. Because I, I swear, would have, would have sworn there that I, um, you know, pu pushed, pushed it away, you know, moved it to the right far enough for that to have actually moved. But um, yeah, it didn't, and I missed my. Well, I don't even know what happened. I don't even know how I actually sort of still managed to land on the spike below me, but somehow I did. Okay, this is a slightly annoying manoeuvre. Push that block. Come on, thank you. Right, and then don't mess up this jump. Good. I think that, yeah, that is where I'm supposed to go, isn't it? Yes, cool. Right, we can't make it over to the right-hand side with the lava on the floor and indeed those mini small, mi small mini spikes blocking our path. So uh, our next destination uh, is up here at the top left to get the... Uh, to get the... Uh, Snowflake to get the ice, um, 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 oh wow, uh, the ice effects back into play. This, yeah, the, the, the music actually for the, for the fire, for the fire one is just, it's just kind of, again, kind of silly, kind of jovial, it's, it's very, it's, it's actually really nice. Uh, and I also, and I, and I, and I like, and I like that, but also, I also do really like the, just the relaxing, um, um, yeah, the, the relaxing music you get here with the, really? Um, <laughs> with, with, with when the ice when the ice effect in play as well. So uh, yeah, kudos to both sets of music here. Very very different, uh, but I like uh, I like both of them quite a bit. Uh, no words, no words, and that's missed the jump. Oh, okay, really, I'm doing a lot of cl <laughs> incredibly clumsy things here, and they. Uh, and they uh, apparently show no sign of letting up. Uh, yeah, yeah, they are. Yep, yeah, they absolutely are showing no sign of letting up. What the hell am I doing here? This, yeah, this save is not that is not bad at all. But um, I'm making it out. I'm making it look like it's the hardest thing in the hardest thing in the bloody uh, the bloody area, which it isn't. It's actually very difficult for me to, frankly, it's actually very difficult for me to gauge what would... Wow! What would be the hardest thing in this area? Because I don't, I can't, again, there's, there's no one stand, I don't think there's any one standout thing uh, in this area that I'd say, oh god, I'm, 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 I'm expecting to, or I'm, and to, yeah, uh, that I'm expecting to get stuck on. Or hopefully that I do end up getting stuck on uh, for, a, for, a, for a while, but, um, ugh. Yeah, okay, fine, we'll do it that way then. I was sort of planning to try and land on the ledge on the on the jump up, but um, maybe that was a bad idea. Maybe I should just uh, yeah do it uh, do the double jump on and land on the floor again rather than on the elevated platform. Uh, okay, I think we're nearing the end. I think this is more or less the end. So uh, yeah, basically yeah, for this bit, want to go up to the top hand, top uh, to the top right. Uh, grab this block uh, because we're going to need it. Um, we're going to need this additional. We're going to it's some additional height to get over here. Then we have to pull off that jump, which was kind of, which was uh, can be kind of tricky. And I'm glad I've managed to do that. Then we're going to go over here and get the ice one in effect. Now we have to pull off a slightly tricky jump, or what can be a slightly tricky jump. Let's put it that way. And we've got pretty much the end here, so I'm hoping I can pull off the last manoeuvre. I can. Yay! Wonderful. Yeah, I like that area. Well, it actually went by pretty uh, insanely quickly as well. Well, insanely quickly still took me 50, 50 or 15 minutes, but. Uh, yeah, I, I, again, this is completely symmetrical. I don't think there's, there's no difference between going, going up the left-hand side or the right-hand side there. But uh, yeah, obviously a gimme little final screen. But uh, no, I really, I really enjoy that one actually. That's probably probably my um, 
probably my favourite of the lot. It's got a, a, I like just like the simplicity of the gimmick. Uh, the the, bo uh, the music is actually really nice in that area, and it, honestly, it's really not that difficult at all. That one is, um, yeah, no, no, what I would call needle, no awkward gimmicks in place or anything like that. So yeah, that is that is a really nice one, and probably probably my favourite of the bunch. Yay! But uh, yeah, with that out of the way, we have seven down and just the one to go. Right, so I'm taking a bit, obviously a bit of a detour here to where I'm going to actually end up. But uh, yeah, again, just to show off the, the one that was done previously. Here in the top right, a knight's move gets us to the middle bottom for our last area. And this one is Clayton's, another one of the um, co-creators of this game. Um, once you know what, what's going on with this gimmick, this is a really kind of fun one. Um, but um, yeah, when you don't really know what's kind of going on, there's instructions here, sort of. Give an indication, but it can be a little bit kind of um, confusing to actually uh, know fully what's going on here. But basically, we've got these um, red and well, at the moment at least anyway, red and white um, teleporters or uh, pads or whatever. And basically, the gimmick to this one is we is we need to, if you press down when you're on uh, one that puts a sort of a hollow kid up, um, you, he is completely controllable. And basically, what we need to do is manipulate those versions of the kid uh, around the screen. Mistimed that completely. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but I'm sorry, so I'm going to pause here. Okay, and then we'll, then we'll jump. That's probably not very good, uh, but uh, yeah. Manipulate those. Um, dodge that. <laughs> dodge that troll there, troll spike there. Uh, yeah, use those kids um, to be able to, to for R, for the regular kid R1 to be able to stand on and, and use in order to in order to, in order to make um, various complicated and convoluted jumps. So uh, yeah, those are, again, poor, very poorly described, I think. But uh, yeah, this is a really fun. Uh, yeah, for the most part, I think a really fun, um, whoops, um, fun stage. And I'm pleased. I'm pleased that I, it's, it's it's a last one because I think that's a, a kind of nice one to have to have uh, at the end. Um, yeah. Um, another another kind of uh, thing about this is um, the, um, or the what I want to point out now is when you mess up with the um, when you yeah when you mess up with the thanks lag. When you mess up with the um, the sort of the hollow kids or these other versions, like exactly what I've not done there. I mean, it didn't make really any difference there because I haven't reset my progress. But for goodness sake, try to curtail the instant reflex you know, to press the R button uh, and reset. Because uh, yeah, if you it's like oh that would have been good enough, I just messed up the final jump. Yay! Because if you do if you if you do mess up with the uh, with the, you know with the these versions of the kids, which obviously set on a timer by the way as well, then uh, yeah you don't instantly die. It's it's just a case of okay that kid has has has, uh, has failed, but yeah he hasn't died. Oh that was that was yeah that, that that's all. I mean I've, I've got what I need to do here now. It's just a matter of pulling it off. Uh, but uh, yeah, if, if this version, the you know, the hollow time kid versions die, then yeah, you yourself do not die. So um, as I said, the the R like the, the instinctive R press reaction I had there, where I pressed the R button, a little bit too early there. That was irritating. Because uh, yeah, if the, if the kid hits the, uh, the the red barriers or whatever, he'll die. So that's why I can't uh, just uh, why yeah why I can't just um, have a slightly easier time here, <laughs> uh, make my way through uh, the red barriers because uh, well yeah, kid dies. If you go through that, but um, yeah, if you yeah, I feel like I'm taking ages to make my main point here. Try to curtail the the very natural reaction to press the R button and reset because uh, yeah, if you do that in a more convoluted screen, then uh, yeah, you could potentially lose all your progress when there's absolutely no need to. You can just reset. So for example, let's just let's just quickly do that. I'm going to just mess up here, go over there. There's no need to go over there with, with that kid, but uh, yeah, obviously again, it's right at the safe. But I've not died, so. And like I've just done, like I've literally just done there as I am speaking. I mean that again. That just that just indicates how much of a kind of a natural reaction it it, it is to do. But and I'm hoping that I need that I get myself out of it because uh, yeah, if, if it happens sort of uh, through in a, in a stage where I've got a lot a lot further through and it's not just straight at the beginning, and I do that, I'm going to be very very annoyed. <laughs> but anyway, now we get to um, well. Ideally, we would if I hadn't messed up the first jump. But uh, now we've so yeah, we've seen the idea where we can actually use the kid as a sort of a a resting place or somewhere else to stand. Um, what he can what he can also do is um, activate switches, uh, which are going to get rid of certain spikes that are in our way. So that's what we're doing here. So I've gone over here to the left hand side to um, to hit the uh, um, the red switch, uh, which you'll see now. It's going to lower this spike, which means I can pull off that manoeuvre, that jump. I wouldn't be able to get through. Yes! I wouldn't be able to get through. I don't think I could anyway. 
I don't think I'll be able to pull off that. I think you could possibly just about get through those spikes, but the setup you'd have to do for it, there's no way, there's no way you could reach the block on the, on the left-hand side. But I still think that is just about manageable. Pixel perfect gate jump. Um, but anyway, yeah, the um, saw the they saw the, the the timed kid go over, go over, hit the red switch, uh, lower the spikes, so it then made, obviously made a much bigger path for me to get through. And that's again, that's a really nice kind of. Uh, interesting way of, of, of using the kid uh, to get through here. So for this one, for example, much more convoluted now, we're gonna go over to the right-hand side, we're gonna leave the blue the blue switch activated for a certain period of time, and the yellow switch, and then the green switch. So uh, yeah, this felt like it was okay from a timing point of view. So then, the, uh, no, I messed up that jump, fantastic. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think you can obviously see the point here. I obviously don't wanna leave the kid um, too far behind. Uh, well, obviously, can't leave. I can't leave the um, the the timing here so that I don't get to the switches in time. So, uh, so yeah, we'll let the kid get ahead of us again. Otherwise, I'll stand flip. Otherwise, I'll stand on him, and that would uh, be disorientating. It also could potentially carry me into us. So, for example, I was going to do this here. If I, if I, um, although I'll do it here. Yeah. If I, if I just I could actually make this jump and just stood here for ages and then jumped off with the kid on top of me, I'll obviously reset that because I need, I need additional time. But so uh, yeah, if I, if I move the kid immediately and then I, I move the, the, and this uh, timed kid moved off, chances are, I don't think that was anywhere near long enough on that, on that switch. I also didn't make the, what am I doing waiting there? Goodness sake. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, uh, uh, I don't even know where I went with that trade of thought, but uh, yeah, I'm liable perhaps to have the, yeah, have the kid, um, Knock me into a spike, which is obviously, which is obviously uh, not what I want to do either. So yeah, I'll let, let the kid, let the um, the time kid go off uh, first off, and then we'll follow. Him. We've definitely got enough time to do that because obviously, I as, as with the regular kid, I don't have to spend anywhere near much near, near enough uh, near as much time um, mucking around at the bottom here. I've just got to yeah have these uh, switches open and 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 uh, get through them. And yeah, provided I wow, that's not going to be no, going to have no time on the green one. So fantastic, because I failed the final jump. So uh, yay. Yeah, just make sure you make sure you don't move off these switches too quick. You want to make sure that there's enough time, or the kid has enough time to get through them. So yeah, hopefully this go will have a better chance now. As you saw, as you saw there, the uh, kid picked me up there. <laughs> Obviously, oh wow! I mean, admittedly, it's three gate jumps you actually have to do uh, at the end, which is I'm going to save here so I don't have to keep moving to the left hand side to land on this um, land on the pad. But uh, yeah, it actually is three gate jumps you are going to have to pull off at the end, which is. A little bit uh, annoying, <laughs> or a little bit annoying for me. Let's put it that way. Um, they're very easy to choke on. They're not so bad. And again, I don't think, I don't think, yeah, yeah the, 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 the gate jumps themselves here uh, are anything to write home about. But a lot of the screens involve a bit of a you know, fair amount of convoluted setup. And uh, as I say, three, having to pull off three gate jumps, at, uh, three gate jumps at the end to actually get through. Um, yeah, can be a little uh, nerve wracking. Very and uh, very easy to choke. Thankfully, I didn't. Yay. Right, next one. And I suppose one other thing I do want to say about this uh, at the moment, which I say, this is a really fun um, fun gimmick, fun mechanic. I, I do like it. The one thing I would say about it, however, though, is that this section, this, yeah, the whole, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, again, I'm going to save. Okay, no, I'm not. I'm going to save, yeah, I'm going to reset and then save when I'm on here, so I don't have to do that again. The one thing I would say about this is that, for me, it feels like it actually goes on a little bit too long. That's not to say that I don't enjoy the gimmick or have have fun with it, but in terms of well, a lot asked, in terms of just like the length of the stage compared to compared to other ones, I feel like there are just like a few too many screens on this one. I don't know whether other ones actually have more screens or anything like that, but what? Uh, <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, this one just feels like there's um, a few too many screens uh, involved involved in it. Um, so to the point where it drags out a little bit, in, in, in all honesty. I feel like that there's, they could, they, they, two or three screens here could have uh, very easily been cut, uh, and it wouldn't have, uh, it wouldn't have uh, been, you know, um, that had a sort of noticeable effect um, on, on the quality of the, on the, on the quality of the stage. Um, but um, oh well, it is what it is. It's, it's, it, it doesn't drag on forever. Let's put it that way. And I'm not sure I'm actually doing this bit here correct, um, which is. Um, Kind of annoying. I haven't really got the, the start here uh, set up uh, very well at all at the moment. Yeah, that's better. Good. Don't worry about that. those spikes, and hopefully we can time this out on this last little bit. Oh no! Oh no! The thing disappeared 
just before I just before I got my got my jump there. I don't know whether I am um, whether the mess made there was with with the, 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 the my setup as the as the final kid or as the setup here. I don't think so. But nah, I'm not quite. Yeah, I'm not quite sure where. I'm not quite sure where the. Oh come on! Stop! I, I'm I'm panicking on this like first bit when there's that was no good at all. I mean, since I've got this far, I guess I'll just I'll just I guess I'll just keep that. But I don't think I set myself up here to be able to make this jump uh, at all. Oh well, it was it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Um, but uh, yeah, what I'm obviously trying to do here is create. Um, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just messing up horribly on like simple spike uh, maneuvers here. I'm just, yeah, I'm, I'm doing I'm doing a horrible job here. And, and again, unfortunately, because this stage I feel like does actually go on for quite some time, we could be here for quite a while. I'm just yeah, I'm just I don't know, well, well, what what I don't know what else to say. I'm just not doing a very good job at all on um, simple stuff at the moment. I'm just um, particularly with the kid here. I'm just mate, I'm just um, okay. I'm way behind here. What I need to do. Okay, see so if you can get this bit better. Okay, good. Just don't mess up on any of these last little jumps, and uh, make sure you don't um, you don't mess up the jump at the end there. As you can see, spikes come down now there, and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's very that's, that's kind of mean. I don't like. I don't must admit, I'm not a fan of those spikes coming up like that. I mean, there's no reason to mess up that jump. In fact, I want to test. I want to test something here. So if I'm here and I jump to here, okay, I, I could jump to there without the spikes coming up, but. Still. <laughs> anyway, moving on. So um, I think actually the first. I think yeah, this is what I want to do. Actually, here, yeah, it's going to here. So this is an interesting one. So basically, um, whoops, don't need to re don't need to reset that. I'll actually wait a little bit longer for the spike. Hopefully on the floor to not be in the way. But uh, yeah, once once you get once you get set here, that this bit's uh, pretty straightforward. But uh, yeah, you obviously just need this uh, kid here uh, in the in between the um, uh, yeah in, in between the spikes here. And then use him to jump up. So uh, yeah, it's a, it's a, it can be a little tricky to, to initially set that up. Obviously, uh, to get the kid where you need him to initially. But uh, yeah, once you've got that set up, ah, thank you. <laughs> once you once you get the, once you get the kid land, landing on solid, solid ground. To be honest, as long as you don't move left or right and just keep jumping over the spike that keeps coming on the floor, you're going to be set perfectly so that the rotating spike wheels don't hit you. So yeah. Uh, oh blimey! I'm glad. I'm, I'm surprised I didn't die there actually because I didn't jump high enough. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Um, I think actually want to go. Do I want to go quickly or do I want to wait just a tad? I probably want to wait just a tad there. Uh, otherwise, it's a bit hard to stand on this platform. So uh, yeah, it'd be nice if I get the timing right. Obviously, I do want to feel like I want to go fairly quickly because I don't have a lot of. Uh, no, I'm not, I haven't got the timing here uh, good at all at the moment. Maybe I need to just wait another cycle there. But yeah, I need to get I need to get this kid up here. We're also playing now with uh, more than one as well. So uh, so uh, yeah, this is where it starts to get um, a bit more uh, convoluted. Uh, not to the point where it's an, it's frustrating or anything like that, or, or obnoxious or difficult or anything. But uh, yeah, we've now got two kids in uh, two um, timed kids in play. And wow, really? Can I save there? I can. Good. Um, yeah, we've got uh, two kids in play, and we obviously need to think about manipulating um, them both. Not some, um, I mean, obviously we need to manipulate them both here. Not quite so much yet in tandem, but but um, at some point in time, we're actually going to we'll, we'll need to uh, really think about how the timings work so that they are actually in sync to the point where the movements actually enable me to get through. Not so much with this one. The only thing I need to do on this one is get both up to the. That was uh, yep. No, no, as soon as I made I made made the jump there, I wasn't going to make it. Um, all I need to do for this one really is just get the two kids um, um, up to the top on this platform and have them, and have them stand there, um, which isn't which isn't too bad. Um, I'm going to reset that, otherwise I'll run out of time. I'm also going to reset so I'm not starting off um, not in the middle there, so I have to move slightly to left or right to get myself positioned. But yeah, all I need to do is get the um, uh, two kids at the, at the at the top there standing standing still, so that I can then stand on them like that. Nicely done. Right, this one is a little bit of a pain in the neck. Um, just generally, actually, this for this first manoeuvre here, uh, and, and making sure that I don't... I'm double jumping out at completely the wrong time. And no, I just just want to clear the um, the spike. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing that horribly. Clear the, clear the spike on the floor, because... 
because I'm effectively going to stand on the on the kid there, and yeah, I don't want I don't want to uh, go on the, uh, get uh, whacked into the spike on the ceiling. Oh, bother! That can be kind. This can be kind of a difficult um, uh, say or, or one to get past. Past. So yeah, to die there was just horrible. So yeah, it, it, I find it I find it kind of the tricky bit here to be honest is is yeah just clearing that. Like to be honest, I feel feel like. That was actually too well. We won't know now, but I felt like that was actually too close to the spike on the uh, on the ceiling uh, uh, there that I would have actually um, w um, yeah landed on it. The other good thing as well is if you do mess up, is you can just uh, reset again. I say both on the on the red one where you're controlling the other version of the kid and your version of the kid. <laughs> you can just yeah you can reset uh, and uh, if, if, if things go wrong, obviously if you die then you're in trouble, but or, or you can have to redo the whole thing. But yeah, if you sort of mess up. But your, the, the screen is still, the screen is still in, or you're still intact, and you can, and you can, and you, yeah, you can get back to where you were. Then you can reset and as many times as you want. Of course, provided you didn't die. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's uh, very nice. Uh, let me think about what I need to do here. I think I want to go over to here, hit, hit, hit that one, and then get this first kid over to the right hand side and on this switch. That is my first port of call. And I want to go here, get the red kids, uh, red kid, red kid set in motion. I'm then over to here. Now, let me think about what I'm going to do with this one. I think I'm basically just going to... Well, not that, obviously. <laughs> going to want that open. Right, what do I want to do? Actually, I'm just going to pause here. Apologies, I'm going to actually just have a quick think about what I want to do here. Okay, I think that's fine. Now, and I think what I'm actually going to do... I think there are possibly two different ways you could do this. But what I'm actually going to do now, since I now don't need the red one, uh, red one. Oh, I can't go that way. Of course. <laughs> I was wondering what I was dying on there, but of course I was hitting the white barrier, which this kid couldn't go, which this kid couldn't go through. I think you could possibly do it all with the blue one, uh, but of course now I don't need to go over to the right-hand side um, with, with with the red spike. I'm going to reset the red kid um, so that he, uh, yeah, he that he gets rid of the yellow spikes. And I wasn't quick enough, but I th I think that's what I want to do. Uh, yeah, I was obviously just took my I took uh, a little bit too much uh, time time there. Okay, I'm, I'm almost somewhat glad that reset anyway because I took way too much time just piddling about at the beginning there for no real reason. Uh, I should still have ample time to get through the red spike uh, to get past this red spike. So, I mean, yeah, shouldn't really have caused uh, shouldn't really cause too many problems. But uh, yeah, I think for example, what I could do with this blue one um, once I'm far, once I'm um, let me just plan this out again. So. What I could do with the blue one now is go and rush to get onto the yellow one. That would give me a bit more time, actually. I'd also have to be quicker with quicker with the quicker with the with the blue. Oh no! Don't do that. <laughs> quicker with the blue one. But I'm actually going to get off the blue. Oh, he can't go through there. What? Or did I just? I'm not quite sure what happened there. Okay, let's not do that. Let's just let's just rest you on the. I'm not convinced on this one, actually, to be honest. I'm, I'm gonna let's just try that again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna set the blue one off. Did he, did he touch the, did he touch the red one? Is that, is that what's, is that what, is that what's killing him? No, he can't go through the white gate. Okay, never mind. I'm doing it completely wrong. What the hell is the matter with me? I need to do it this way, and then get the, and get the blue kid there on the yellow, on the yellow switch because that way, yeah. Obviously, you can see with the timing, they don't, they're not, they're not identical. But the, yeah, the timing. Sorry, blah, what am I doing here? The timing is not identical, but the blue one uh, lasts longer. So uh, yeah, this is much better. So now I've got much more time to get over here to this switch with the yellow, with with uh, with the yellow spikes away, with the blue one having, with the blue uh, version of, the, of, the, of the, you know, the the kid on the yellow switch rather than the, rather than the red one. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's uh, much better. And um, yeah, my, mm, yeah, definitely how I want to do that. Oops, whoops, that was terrible. <laughs> okay, so uh, this one I'm actually going to take a. Whoops, that's not right. I'm actually going. No, that is right. Yeah, I'm actually going to take. I'm actually just going to. Okay, let's reset that because I've just done. Just completely got a bit flustered there on what I'm going to do. This is convoluted, and I'm actually, I don't actually think I've ever done this the way it's, it's meant to be done. But I'm just going to take a shortcut on this one, because um, I think that's correct, isn't it? Yeah, I, I, obviously the intention is you're supposed to muck around with a lot of different, with a lot of different um, um, switches here. You probably get multiple versions of the kid as well. So there's like a, bl like a blue, a green, a grey, or white. A, a switch to, to, you know, to toggle off um, you know, blue, green, and white spikes. 
But actually, all you need to do, I mean, it's, it's, it's tricky, let's put it this way, but all you actually need to have cleared um, is the, um, and potentially, of course, you could, you could also use another version of the kid as a, as a, as a standing point to get a bit extra, extra height. I think that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to get the kid, another version of the kid where the white spike is, for example, so that, so that I can then stand on that version uh, and make it, make it over, over the, over the uh, spike. But yeah, you can just do that. I'm going to get off. I'm going to walk off screen there because the, 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 the timer would have run out and the blue spike would have got me. But um, yeah, you can just do exactly what I did there. It's a little tricky to pull off that um, gate jump without, without clipping the, 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 the downward facing spike there. But yeah, that just, yeah, it, it can be incredibly convoluted. You've got to be very careful with all the movements there. It's very easy to mess up. But yeah, frankly, I, that's the way I do that screen. Just completely and completely bypass. Um, yeah, a good, uh, well, pretty much all of it. <laughs> Pretty much all the bottom. All I have to do is just pull off that, that one manoeuvre at the end. Uh, once I've got the first jump, um, and once I've you know, cleared the first the first spike, um, the rest is yeah, the rest is pretty much uh, dead straightforward. So uh, yeah, that's how I like to do that screen. Um, I think in theory it's also possible to shortcut uh, this screen, um, but uh, I don't know whether I'm going to be doing. I don't know whether I'm going to do that, but. Um, yeah, basically, this is, this is actually a really fun one, uh, where, of course, we've got um, the uh, version of the kid here, which are basically just going to keep uh, getting us up up the top. Obviously, we have to keep um, using um, uh, these versions, you know, these uh, other versions of the, uh, of the kid. That's going to die, bother. Um, just to step on. Uh, but you can actually, I say, shortcut this to the point where you, where you don't need to technically use the, um, what would be the third one, which I think would be a green one. Um, a green version of the kid, but uh, yeah, I don't know whether I'm going to do that. I don't know whether I've quite got this set up to the point actually where I could do it. I can! Okay, since I've done that, and since that was pretty straightforward, I'm actually just going to stay there. I, I'm actually just going to take that and move on, because again, what I think you're clearly supposed to do is move, is go to the middle bit on the left-hand side and get another version of the kid there, but as, as yeah, as, as, I've just, as I've just shown, and as, as, as it is a very, very nice shortcut, you can clearly just um, yeah use the, the the blue version or the blue kid to actually get up to the top area straight away. So once you've done that, get the uh, get the, you can use the yellow kid up at the top there uh, to to hit the uh, red switch over on the far right hand side. That gets rid of the spike with the face on it. Uh, 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 yeah, it gets rid of that at the top, and that's ultimately the goal where we need to go. So hopefully again I can pull this off. I can land on you. That would that was. Uh, Nerve-wracking. Uh, again, obviously because I because I haven't died, I can reset it and do it again. But that's what I must admit I am slightly worried about whether I'm going to miss landing on the on that blue kid and land on a spike. But uh, no, it all seemed to work out perfectly. That was all um, wonderfully aligned. Um, and uh, yeah, two shortcuts on the two final screens. Maybe I'm a bit a bit harsh on that achievement. The eight guardians clear the guest stages. Maybe I've been a bit harsh on that. Actually, saying it was um, too maybe saying it was too long. That went by in 20 minutes. I mean, I like that one. I feel like it's actually a lot easier with just like the pure needle one, or for example, the Mr. Wonderful stage or the Hidal stage, for example. But um, yeah, I, I, I expected that to take a lot longer, just because I thought there were quite a few more screen, a few more screens in that one than other ones. But um, I've managed clearly. I've just managed to get through fairly, uh, fairly quickly. Uh, and I think what I'm also going to do, if I plan this correctly, I, uh, at this point in time, I think I know where the parts of the videos are going to be. Um, there's nothing else actually to do other than other than sort of uh, go for the final boss. So I'm actually going to, rather than make this the beginning of next, the beginning of uh, next video, I'm actually just going to clear this out uh, now. And um, well, hopefully we are. Hopefully this won't take too long. There's a yeah. There's a really kind of a, 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 a short um, camp. Yeah, definitely can make that a, a short final path. Uh, we actually sort of um, gets. No, that's correct as well. Yeah, um, where we get to see sort of elements of the final boss before they actually kind of happen, which is uh, kind of nice. Kind of get to, kind of get to see a bit of a, a yeah, a bit of a preview of what some of the attacks are going to be on the final boss. Um, but uh, yeah, rather yeah, I, I feel like starting off at, at, at the final boss would be a, would be a good thing, rather than um, rather than yeah, spending yeah, doing the, all the little bits that it would take to get there. So uh, yeah, we're going to clear this tower. Or we're going to yeah, we're going to climb this tower. I think I'm just go up here. Yeah, we're going to climb this tower, which is very reminiscent of uh, how it has to be very reminiscent of Battle Toes. Uh, climb the final stage of that. But uh, yeah, we're going to climb the tower, and we're going to enter the final area. And hopefully, it's not going to take uh, too long. So, the first gimmick that we get, I probably can't save over there. I can. That's generous. Okay. Also has the liability to to mess up so that you, uh, you screw yourself over. So be careful of that. 
But uh, yeah, we have this um, sort of force beam, energy beam here, whatever, and it sends us flying up to the ceiling. So uh, yeah, obviously just use that to your use that to your advantage. Rise up to the ceiling, and then yeah, you, I think you get your double jump back when you. Uh, I think you do at least anyway. Um, when you when you exit it, so um, yes, you must do <laughs> uh, when you exit it. So um, yeah, it's a very straightforward uh, section to get through. This one we have uh, a whole bunch of arrows. And uh, yeah, basically we have the, uh, we have the screens kind of uh, being covered in darkness. Uh, every time you touch an arrow, that uh, that sends the uh, the uh, the, um, the screen. Wow, not not paying. I was sorry, I want to say not paying attention there because it kind of like snuck up on me out of the darkness and I couldn't really see it coming. But I need to be I need to be aware that uh, a slug or a snail or whatever it is is actually going to potentially catch me out there. I'm a bit better here in the sense that I'm a bit lower down. Uh, so, oh, what? Did this snake actually? Or what, what, did that snake catch up to me? I can't believe that. That was that was ridiculous. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah, the arrows, uh, hit an arrow, and the uh, the patch of the the, uh, the patch of the screen that is visible is the is the, is uh, moves in that direction. So uh, yeah, quite a nice one. This is kind of like a gimme kind of screen. Um, it's to say, that will appear, that will show up on the boss, so just thinking, well, what kind of screen is that? Um, that kind of thing will at least, will at least, uh, 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 show, uh yeah, show up in the boss, uh, and uh, we'll see, yeah, we'll see what that's all about. Because, yeah, that one probably would have felt like it's a complete nothing. Um, here's another, here's a, here's a sort of fun one. So we've got these two icons here, red and blue. Uh, you want to basically just, just shoot, them, shoot them, uh, to take them out. Uh, when you hit a red one, the red, the red sort of uh, pills, I think it is from the ceiling, or whatever, become active, and obviously with the blue one, the blue, the blue ones become active. So yeah, just pay attention to the pattern of the pills. Make sure you're not hitting a blue one. For example, when you can see the sort of opaque pills or whatever they are in the background, because yeah, you flick that one, the blue ones all of a sudden will then become solid, and your career into it. So uh, yeah, it's a kind of a uh, in uh, you know, interesting thing. Now we have a bouncing screen so uh, yeah obviously the ceiling here is uh, I'm not gonna go that way I don't even know why I've tried to go that way you do get your uh, again you do get your um, double jump uh, back after every time you actually hit the obviously you have to go down there first of all but uh, yeah I'm gonna, gonna go over there this is probably the bold one that's gonna screw me over because I just can't in fact I think what I'm gonna do here is keep jumping until I'm all, I try to recognize I'm actually on the I'm actually on the on the on the on the, on the, on the um, the, the, the ceiling and upside down rather than the floor. Because trying to, uh, yeah, whatever. Trying to, um, try, try to time that out where you're going like between the ceiling and the floor in quick succession and know exactly when you're supposed to move to the right to avoid those, uh, uh, to avoid those spikes is, uh, yeah, a little tricky. That was awfully timed. Blair. Anyway, yeah, I think we're coming to more or less the last bit. I think there's like one screen after this, but it's a, pretty much just a token. That one literally is a token, nothing screen. So uh, yeah, this one again, we've got some of the snakes uh, flying around on, on, on the platforms. But uh, yeah, well, the other thing we've got in play here are these slashes, uh, which uh, kind of keep, kind of uh, keep coming across the screen. And uh, yeah, you obviously you need to not be uh, positioned where one of the slash or where, 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 on, the, on one of the slashes uh, when it comes to the play blast. Um, otherwise, you'll die. So uh, yeah, it's just it's a kind of a, bit of a timing puzzle. Um, it's, it's 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 not so bad. It's kind of fun. It's kind of fun here. I wouldn't say I don't particularly enjoy the uh, the part of the final boss that actually had where this gimmick is actually in play. But um, oh well, that's a that's an entirely separate issue. <laughs> in this context, in this in this in this area uh, where where it's, where it's done, it's actually uh, yeah, it's actually kind of nice. And I'm having a bit of a trouble with it, which is a bit irritating. Again, nothing too drastic at the moment. And as I say, I think we are pretty much bar one token screen. At, at, at the point where the final boss is, but uh, yeah, I didn't think this was going to take uh, this long. Dang it! Bit of the top there, or the bit of, of the top right there. Obviously, haven't quite got the timing right. I don't know whether I should just uh, muck around a bit more and reset it so it's uh, so it works out nicely. Everything else, oh, everything else that I'm doing at the moment seems to work out. Uh, seems to be working out very nicely. Just uh, not this bit, unfortunately. Oh wow! I didn't even make it up to the platform. Fan diddly fasty. I got ahead of myself there. I almost jumped up, up to the left-hand side there, ahead of where I wanted to. I probably still could have survived it, but at this point in time, again, up up until the final, the final section, I've pretty much got a you know a pattern for for when I'm moving and when I'm, and when I'm not. It, that, that that I need, I need to I need to wait I need to, I need to wait another cycle for that top bit. I don't see quite how I can get past. The snake there, um, or, or, or the, and, and the uh, and the slashes. They just seem to be, unfortunately, timed out and offset. Just at, just to the point of view where it's uh, 
really not nicely timed at all. <laughs> Come on, I don't want to be spending ages on this. This is, yeah, this is, this is, unless I miss it, this is literally the final thing before the final boss. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hang around here and wait for another cycle or something. Just to be a little bit careful there. No, no, that timing doesn't work out either. Okay, I've, yeah, well, don't know what to say about that the top bit. Just uh, haven't got, haven't got a timing or a pattern down for that at all yet. I think I might even just go back to what I was doing before then, and just uh, not, ru not headlong rush it. But oh, I thought I was going to land on the snake there. Well, I'd land on the flipping spike anyway, so so doesn't really matter anyway. Come on, this is this is this is not bad. This is not that difficult at all. So save for the save for that very last bit, which I'm um, which which I say is can be kind of tricky, but I'm just having a bit of a, a shocker on at the moment. And I jumped. I, I I either had to jump a lot quicker there, or just stay in the corner and stay in the corner and, and not jump. Hopefully the snake wouldn't catch up to me. Man, that bit at the top at the, at the top right is um is is awkward as hell. I don't remember it being that awkward. Okay, I'm trying to rush things now and it's not going very well. I'm like, okay, okay, fine. We'll save a little bit closer to the closer to the to the right there and hopefully we can get up there in one go. Yeah. Let's let's okay. Let's do it in a completely different way then, with the with the pattern set differently, and let's and let's see whether going going quicker gets me up there a little bit quicker and just makes the pattern slightly easier. Yes, it does. Okay, considerably so as well. Right. Okay. Wish I'd just done. Wish I'd done that earlier. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Life, like I said, token last screen. Just shoot shoot those blocks, and we're done. I'm actually going to turn the volume up here because there's a bit of a bit of speech. I have been waiting for you, kid. It felt like an eternity. Was my sequel to your liking. It was made from the blood and tears of the greatest makers of the Western community. With their powers under my control, culture too will soon take over deliciousfood.com and absorb all games to become the largest memory of all times. Now you will know the true power of Demon Lord Biff. Turn it down again. <laughs> so yeah, I'm obviously not going to get into this fight. So let's uh, so let's so let's die. I will talk about. You may have kind of noticed there the difference difference between the speech. I think we're probably going to get somehow. <laughs> I can't unfortunately now pause this to the point of view. I don't think I can anyway. So let's press. Okay, let's not do that. Yeah, if I press so so escape, which would normally be the. Uh, yeah, I'm glad I got that sorted out now as well. Escape, which would normally bring up the pause menu. In this scenario, actually takes you out of the boss. So let's not do that. Um, but uh, yeah, there was, uh, I'll address the lag like, and the slowdown issues in the next part. That happened, uh, but uh, yeah, because you may have noticed with the, the text sort of going um, behind, well behind where the, where the actual speech was. But um, yeah, anyway, I'll, I'll address that because lag slowdown is to be expected in this final boss. Even more so, unfortunately, with the recording. But yeah, I'll come back to that issue uh, next time. But uh, yay, here we are at the final boss. We got through all the, we got through all the stage six now. Cleared the eight um, uh, eight guest uh, stages uh, or, or eight areas or whatever. The eight guardians, whatever it was called, uh, completed the final like the, the tower and the final path of the boss. So uh, yay, we are at the final boss. We're nowhere near actually the end of this, let's say the end of this um, let's play in terms of other content because there's lots of stuff to come actually after the final boss. But yeah, this is about as much as I could do at this point in time. And uh, yay, next time probably spread over multiple multiple, multiple videos because it goes on for a long time. But uh, yeah, next up will be the final boss. Hope to see you for that. But until then. Cheerio.